Dear Tirox community, welcome to this weekly crypto news and market update provided by Tirox, and this is what we're gonna talk about today. We will first talk about that crypto will become legal in India, as well that the central banks are exploring the blockchain. We will lead over to that Huobi is having a beta testing of its own DeFi blockchain, and we will lead over to the news that Bitcoin becomes a currency in France, and last but not least, we will have our weekly crypto market. First of all, let us talk about that India's crypto bulls roadshow given full head of steam by ban repeal. And what we can see is that there is a crypto bulls roadshow that wanted to drive through India and wanted to held some crypto schools or some crypto seminars. And what we can see is over here is that after the ban repeal, they doubled the cities they want to go to. So what we can see over here is that there's a huge interest in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in India. And that this, of course, is a positive sign to this, of course, showing us what the cryptocurrency can bring in the future with all the people having illegal access to it. And what we can as well see over here is that the crypto companies rushed to secure market share in India and within 24 hours of the RBI ban being repealed, local exchanges Unocoin, Vazir X and Coin DCX had resumed fiat deposits. And we're not talking about the fact that central banks are exploring the blockchain, they're doing it for their own reasons and this is quite interesting due to central banks are working on it. So basically central banks from around the globe are working on the blockchain technology to may introduce their own blockchain technology service or their own stable coin whatever they want to do they think that this is something they are taking a look on even if they don't want to implement it within years so all in all we can see that at least 17 governments around the world are exploring the potential uses of cbdc's for example, earlier this year, the president of the European Central Bank, Christine Lagarde, publicly announced the active involvement in the development of a central bank digital currency in a bid to address the demand for faster and cheaper cross-border payments. And this is exactly what could change the banking sector over the time. When we're having a cheaper and faster cross-border payment services by the governments or by the countries that all the people can use this technology due to this of course would be a future step if you want to implement the blockchain technology in your daily life step by step we're always starting an open source DeFi blockchain and how i said in one of my last videos the DeFi blockchain could be a next thing and what we can see is over here that they want to have an incorporated a flexible governance model that supports both regulators and enterprises based on a delegated proof of stake concierge it allows regulators to contribute to the network through unique regulatory nodes for example kyc aml protocols and stuff like this can be used to provide verifiable digital identities on the network for example so basically the ecosystem requires regulators and enterprise to establish standards together according to Huobi Group Vice President of Global Business, Kiara Sun. With Huobi Chain, we want to provide the decentralized framework that facilitates industry-wide collaboration, which is critical to the widespread adoption of DeFi. And what we can see as well is that there will be some innovative futures. So basically here we can see that they are building up a decentralized financial blockchain ecosystem that can be used by everyone who wants to support this blockchain and of course this as well could be a next step to mass adaption and better and easier contracts smart contracts and stuff like this quite interesting is that bitcoin is now a currency in france and this is quite interesting due to you, there was a commercial court of nantir that decided on february the 26th to qualify bitcoin as a fungible interchangeable asset that is not individualizable just like fiat money and what was the case is that there were two crypto companies fighting at the court due to they loaned it 1000 btc to another company and then there was this hard fork from bitcoin cash so the other company while lending the bitcoin also got 1000 bitcoin cash in their wallet and then 
the other party said, hey, these are our coins, so even these hard fork coins are our coins. Crypto or Bitcoin is a currency, and this can have a potential huge outcome on the market, did you? A specialized lawyer said that this can could have far-reaching implications. For example, the scope of this decision is considerable because it allows Bitcoin to be treated like money or other financial instruments. It will therefore facilitate Bitcoin transactions such as lending or repo transactions which are growing and this favor the liquidity of the current the cryptocurrency market. So all in all, even this is quite interesting what we will see and how this will be handled in the future. Let us now take a look on the crypto market. What we can see is that we had a sideways movement with a nice upwards trend followed by a huge dip. So over the week, we started this week with around 249 billion USD and right now we are hanging at around 226. So over the week, we saw a drop of nearly 10% in the crypto total market depreciation, which of course is a huge dip. And if we're taking a look on the seven day performance, we can see that most of the, or all of the top 10 coins are in the deep reds. And what we can see is that Tesla's performed the best with around 5% loss, while there were other coins within the last seven days that lost two digits, like Litecoin, for example, 14%. If we're taking a look on the 24 hour performance, we can see that we had a huge dip of nearly 10 to 15% in the last 24 hours. So all in all, this week was quite red for cryptos and this as well we can see in the charts. We're taking a look on the Bitcoin chart from the last week in the one hour chart. We can see that we first of all started this week to build a support around 8450. This seems to be a good support for now. Did you? How you can see if I'm scrolling out? We tested this support already and bounced off. So this seemed to be a quite good support. Afterwards, we had a small rise and a huge build of support again, which we tested multiple times at around $8,700. And then we had a nice upwards movement of around 4 to 5%. 5 to 6% to a local high at around 9180 And from this local high as we reached it the market dropped sharply and when i'm scrolling in you can see it immediately after we touch this local resistance the market just fell down so from this highest point to the lowest point bitcoin lost 16.4 percent and to the level right now we are hanging around 15 to 14.5 percent loss and this is quite interesting did you if i would put a technical analysis to this it would be all senseless to the first support was just broken down with enabling the second support was just broken with enabling followed by this there were no supports built over here just the 1000 line so basically the 8000 line held for at least a few hours you can see over here but then the market as well broke down and right now we're having a deep local support which we tested twice at around 7800 but of course we had spikes to the downside so all in all this market seems to be very very weak and if i'm for example showing you the rsi which is always a quite an indicator if a crypto currency is oversold or overbought we can see that it is oversold for nearly two days now and this if i'm scrolling out here is not usual you know so basically this as well indicates a real strong mark a real weak market and we saw no rebounds yet so all in all bitcoin i could analyze it way more we're losing all the support lines we lost all the technical analysis indicators so we stayed out of this market and this was definitely the best choice within the last week we as well can see if i'm switching to the four hour chart we can see that when i'm having the fibonacci retracement that we are just down below the 0.236 line and this as well seems to be a huge support for now did you when we're losing this the next build it resistance line how you as well can see would be or the next support line would be at around the lowest point we started this year so all in all this is showing us how much the crypto market came down again and this as well is showing us how much opportunities are in this market did you from our highest point to the 
But right now, we lost 25% of all the profits in Bitcoin, for example, we gained. And now you may know, Bitcoin is often more stable than the altcoins when we're dropping. So in the altcoin market, this drop as well was even higher. All in all, how I said, the market seems to be bearish. Of course, we need to see a pullback to above 8k to then may retesting the first support level which is now in resistance line at around 8450 and when we are broken through this we can see an upswing to 9k but all in all right now the market is not looking that strong ethereum how you may see is exactly the same we started this week with a bullet support over here and then the market rose so we saw a nice uptrend in ethereum which a local high of around 251 this was an increase within a few days of nearly 13.7 percent in ethereum and now how you see we can we dropped below all these points and if i'm scrolling out again you as well can see that even this support line broke down and that we are now hanging at levels how you see down here we not saw for quite a long time so right now we're hanging at the levels of start of february so this is a huge downtrend in ethereum from the highest point this year to the points right now we're down 30 to 31 percent and this is how i said even a sharper dip than we saw in bitcoin and what we can see is that we built a support which we tested a few times now in ethereum and this support seems to be at around 200 levels so in bitcoin always the thousand levels are magical lines and in ethereum these of course are always the hundred levels so 200 seems to be a huge support line all in all what we can expect if the market can react and can go up again we could see a nice upswing to the builded lines over here if we're still going bearish the next support would be the start of the last upswing movement so we would drop another twenty dollars in ethereum this was our news and crypto market update this week all in all the news were quite positive but the market dropped sharply due to the worldwide economic seems to be weak the coronavirus is spreading panic all over and so the bitcoin market as well dropped sharply if you like this video i would love if you could like share or comment this video and we will hear us next time when it comes to crypto news and market update provided by T-Rox.